Also, the other thing I like about it being a total geek, as you know, is you can actually plan out different scenarios. So you can say, well, I'm going to do 10 deals. What if I bought and sold them all? What's going to happen to my cash flow? OK, what if I bought and sold five? And what if I kept five? What will happen to my cash flow? What if I kept them all? and refinance them, what would happen to my cash flow? So you can take an original cash flow and model out different scenarios with masses of cups of tea, occasional <gasps> and occasional, Whoa, hey, look at that baby. And then you can choose the best cash flow scenario for yourselves. And that is really important. And particularly cash flow at the beginning, kind of opening stage of your business, you're vulnerable. Uh, you're vulnerable in your skill set. You're vulnerable in your network. You know, I can pick up the phone. I don't mean this in any, any showy offy way. I can pick up the phone and get like 100 grand within a very short period of time, way less than an hour. So if I had any glitches in my cash flow, I can solve it with my network very, very quickly. Can you at the very early stages of your property business? Um, I mean, I won't have a hundred grand glitch that I wake up one day and go, oh, look, it appears I got a problem because we're doing cash flow. But, you know, my network would be able to solve it on a temporary basis. Um, so it, it means that that kind of reduction in time, reduction in skills, reduction in peers and networks and support is when you are your most vulnerable. You're also doing everything. You're actually running a startup business. So you're creating the business as well as running the business. So you're effectively doing two jobs, not one, just in the business, let alone bringing up babies and, you know, having a full time job if you are. This is you at your most vulnerable. This is where your cash flow planning is critical. If you do one thing from today, it is write your cash flow plan for 18 months and then geekily sit there with a cup of tea and figure out three different scenarios. I have to tell you, I regularly figured out three different scenarios, including selling more property. And every time when, oh, that would be lovely cash flow, no, I want to keep it. So you don't always make strategic decisions that are non-emotionally based, but at least it will give you the best chance to make a really strong decision.